in this video. Let's talk about DALI DT8 tunable white light fittings and how to use them within the Lutron homeware system. So, without any further ado, <laughs> let's do it. In this kitchen, dining and living area, I have a set of dimmable LED strip here above the blinds pocket by the windows and another one under the kitchen island here. When you choose a dimmable LED strip or any light fitting for that matter, you have to choose their color temperature from very warm like at 2700 Kelvin or lower, a bit more kind of orange to a cold white almost with a blue tint to it. And once you've chosen the temperature of your light fittings, that's it, you are stuck with it. But now, imagine if you could have your LED strip that could go from a very warm white, like you can see here, to use maybe in the evening or night time, to a colder white to use during the day, for example, as well as any other color temperature in between. In addition, imagine also if you could dim those LED independently from their color temperature to accommodate any lighting scenes in your rooms. Well, that's what Daddy DT8 allows you to do. It's like having two fully dimmable, cold and warm white fittings into one. And when you mix those two colors together, it gives you all the white color temperature available within a specific range and with a completely separate control for the intensity. That's what we call tunable white. So no more headache when selecting your fittings and more possibilities when used on the Lutron homework system especially when it comes to providing circadian rhythm capabilities for a more human-centric experience in your projects. In this tutorial, we're going to assume you're already familiar with daddy lighting control. But if it is your first time, I'll invite you to check our previous tutorial on daddy system design, installation, and programming within Lutron Homeworks. All links in the comment section below. On my DALI Homeworks demo unit here, I have two DALI DTA tunable white drivers. The top one will control my LED strip by the window and the bottom one the LED by the kitchen island. On the primary side here, my drivers are permanently fed with 230 volt coming directly from my distribution panel. On those inputs here, the drivers will be wired to my DALI loop. This DALI loop is then going all the way back to my Lutron DALI module here. And on my demo unit, those two DALI drivers are wired to my DALI loop 2 here. Good. Now, on the secondary of those drivers, I've wired this tunable white LED strip here on each of them. And when we look closely, this tunable white LED strip has three connections. Plus for the intensity, W for the cold white, and WW for the warm white. So I've made the corresponding connections on the secondary on my DTA drivers, as we can see here. And on this side of my demo unit, we can see my two LED strips. The top one will represent the strip above my windows and the bottom one will represent the strip around the kitchen island. Very simple. But before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Adelex. Yes, <laughs> that's right. This is us. Based in the UK, we've got over 18 years of experience with Lutron lighting control all over the world. We are specialized in high-end residential where we design, supply and program Lutron systems such as Lutron Homeworks, Lutron Ratu Select and Lutron Blinds and Curtains. 
We work directly with end users, but also with architects and lighting designers, electrical contractors, and smart home AV specialists. So, if you also want to take your current lighting control project to the next level and be looked after by a reputable Lutron professional, feel free to get in touch with us now. Contact details in the comment section below. Okay, let's go back to our tutorial. So, on my designer software, I go to the design tab and select loads here. I select my kitchen, dining, living area here. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to add my LED strip loads only. The first one will be for my LED strip above my blinds boxes by the windows. For this load, I'm just going to use a single driver. So I leave one in the load column. And in the load type column here, I'm going to select DALI intensity and CCT. We stand for correlated color temperature. Then you may have this warning message here, but because I'm setting a new load, I just click yes. Next, we need to remember that the programmable tunable white range within Homeworks goes from 1400 to 7000 Kelvin. However, the tunable white LED strip I'm using goes from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin. Therefore, I have to make some adjustments. So, I click on the customized columns here and then tick the boxes for low end and high end color range in the color temperature section here. These options are only available from the designer version 24.5. So, make sure you're using the latest one on your project. In those two new columns, I will adjust the color temperature to match the color temperature of my tunable white LED strip. So here, I'll put 2700 Kelvin for the low end color and here 6500 Kelvin for the high end color. Remember to make those adjustments to match the LED strip you'll be using as this will help in the next programming steps. Then I do the same thing for my second LED strip below the kitchen island and also adjust the color range here as I'm using the same type of LED strip. Next, still on the design tab, I click on equipment and select my Lutron panel location. My daddy module is here. I click on the plus sign to expand, select my daddy loop 2 where both of my drivers are wired to on my demo panel. And I'll assign both of my loads here. There you go. My DALI module has already been assigned to my Lutron processor link number one here. And it has also been addressed and activated. So I'm going to skip those steps. I'm also going to skip the addressing of those drivers as they are the same steps as the one illustrated in my previous DALI programming tutorial. Now, Let's see how we can program those LED tunable white on the Lutron keypad. <laughs> and if you like the video so far, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button and share it with your friends and colleagues or family as this will really help the channel to continue making those kind of tutorial. Merci beaucoup. Okay. I click on my programming tab here, then select my Palladium keypad. And on this section here, we can see the two LED strip circuit or zones we've just created. So check this out. For the programming of the top button here called Day, when I select my strip by the window here, I have access to two separate settings. The first one is for the intensity. So here, let's say that I select 100%. And now, in the second column, I have access to the color temperature I want to set for this load. And using this cool slider here, I can set any value between 2700K, quite warm, to 6500K only as we've previously set that color range. So here, let's just set it to 6500K and I do the same for the strip by the island. I would then have a scene with a cold white with a touch of blue tint and very bright 
to use during the day. Now, on the evening button, I will set the strip to 50% intensity with a color temperature set to 3500 Kelvin, a bit warmer. On the nightlight button, I'll have both of my strip at 20% with a color temperature set to 2700 Kelvin with an orange tint almost to provide a nice warm glow at night time. And finally the off button to switch both of my strip completely off. Simple. Now let's transfer this program to test it. Okay, so when I press on the day button, I have my strip very bright with a cold white. Later on in the day, I can press the evening button to set my strips to a medium level with a warmer color temperature. Very cool. And later at night, press on the nightlight button to set a very soft, warm glow. Nice very relaxing. And finally, off to switch everything off. <laughs> you like it? Well, check this out. I press on my night button again. If at any moment I just want to adjust the color temperature on my strips, I can use the Luchon app on my phone. Select my room here and then my LED strip by the window, for example and I can easily change its color temperature without changing its intensity and change its intensity without changing its color temperature. Here, I can even make a very bright warm white. Basically, from the app, I can select any Dali DT8 on my Lutron system and mix its temperature and intensity separately to any level I want, as you can see here. And that is very cool. <laughs> And if you want to add some vavavoom to your project, using conditional logic, you can program the same button. So when you press on it in the morning, you have a medium level with a soft white on your daddy loads. When you press on the same button during the day, you automatically have a brighter level with a colder white color. In the evening, a lower level with a warm white. And again, on the same button at night time, automatically set your light to a very warm glow. <laughs> that is very nice. And if you'd like me to do a video on how to program this button using conditional logic, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> voilà. There you have it. How to install and program DALI DTA tunable white drivers and LED strips in a Lutron homework system. I hope you find this video useful. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Adelux YouTube channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much. Good luck and talk to you again on the next tutorial. <laughs>